Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today we're going to be restocking our three and a half acre pond and we're going to be picking up fish off of like a traveling fish truck. I really don't know of another way to explain it. Um, it's going to be this, this big long truck that's full of these water tanks full of fish and we pre-purchased them so when we go meet the truck they're going to count out our fish so that we can take them home and put them here in our pond. So we ended up buying I think it was 465 fish and they're not going to be very big they're going to be some pretty small fish and uh, it's four different varieties that we're going to put in our pond today because we we had a fish kill off last year and we want to try our best to uh, speed up the repopulation in the pond. I really do think that there is still fish left alive in here, um, but adding this fish, I think will definitely speed up the process. So when we go pick up these fish, we have to have our own container full of water to be able to put the fish in. They, just, they don't have enough water for everybody. So I've got two different containers and they're just coolers. So I've got a small cooler and then I've got I got a bigger cooler right here. And this is what we're gonna fill full of water. And we're gonna strap the lid down tight with the ratchet strap. That way hopefully none of the water and stuff splashes out when we're going down the road. But I've got two containers. I'm gonna say one type of fish is, is a bigger fish and it's more of a predator fish. So we're gonna put it separate than all of the smaller fish. And that's why I've got two containers because I don't know if they're that I don't know if I trust to put them in the same container together. So let's go ahead and get these filled full of water and uh, then we can start heading over and getting them. All right, that'll probably take uh, several minutes to fill. <laughs> so I bought these fish through my local farm store. I believe they do this twice a year. They, they sell fish in the spring and then they sell them again in the fall. And uh, basically, I bought these like a month and a half, two months ago. And today is the day the truck finally arrives. It's gonna show up in the farm store parking lot. And as soon as we get these filled full of water and strapped closed, we'll go up there and pick them up. All right, I'm at the Big R store in Robinson, Illinois, and I'm waiting in line to pick up my fish. So this is probably gonna take a few minutes. I think there's about seven trucks in front of me. So this is Nemo Bait and Fishery out of Missouri. So we ended up buying four different varieties. So the one we got the most of was we got 300 regular bluegill. And then we ended up getting 100, what they call a hybrid bluegill. And I don't think the hybrid bluegills repopulate very well, but they just get a lot bigger. And then we ended up getting 50 red ear. And these are, all three of these are sunfish basically. Now red ear eat something different. I don't think I've had a lot of luck with red ear in the past. I've put them in in the past. So we only got 50 this time. And then the other fish that we got was catfish. Uh, we ended up getting just 15 catfish, but they're like four to six inches long. And uh, probably really not a big deal. I could have put them all together, but we put them in that small cooler. Yeah, so as we look in here, you can tell like all of these bluegill and red ear are just mostly pooled together in this corner. And uh, I, did, I do think there's a few other varieties that ended up getting mixed in. I did see one catfish get dropped into here. So I don't think he's right there on top. Um, so I don't think that there's a 100% guarantee you're gonna get exactly, you know, you might get an oddball fish here and there mixed in. So there's too much water, I think, in here for us to really 
want to lift them. So I'm going to go ahead and let some of the water out. Drain it down a little bit, make them a little lighter. Come on, fish, go away. Oh, I think I lost one. You see one? There was like a really tiny fish right next to the cork. Like a really tiny one. I'm afraid he got sucked in, sucked out. Does that make any sense? Maybe he didn't. Put my hand in front of it to keep any, if there's really tiny fish so they don't wash out the drain. Catfish are big enough, I don't have to worry about them. Oh, there went one. You see him? You got him. Here's the catfish. You can hear the geese in the background. Set it right there. All right, here's all the bluegill. Like a waterfall of bluegill. There's still some in there. One left in the bottom. They come out. Yep. So last year we had a big duckweed problem. And if we look down here at the water, you can see there is still pieces of duckweed that survived the winter. Now in the past we've had, we had this several years ago. And we had a really cold winter and I think it actually killed the duckweed off and then we never had a problem again till last year. So a lot of people said that I should get a grass carp to be able to eat the duckweed, eat the vegetation, and I couldn't buy them. They would not sell grass carp. The state of Illinois has made it illegal for people to sell grass carp. You actually have to get a permit from the state and then I think the people actually have to come here and put them in your pond to make sure that you're not putting them in a river. So I think they've had such a trouble with carp in the river that they've just stopped you from being able to just go and buy them. So you have to go through a whole permitting process to buy grass carp so I can put in my pond. And finding a fishery to go through that process and then come here and put grass carp in is probably going to be fairly expensive and may be difficult to do. So as far as the duckweed problem in the pond, right now it's looking like we're still gonna have the same problem this year. So we're gonna have to do some research and see if we can find a place to get some grass carp and get permitted to do so. And it, it's just a hassle. They used to, when I was buying fish for this pond back in like 2016, you could buy grass carp. So this is something that's happened over the last couple years where they've changed the rules. And this mama duck is still sitting on her nest. Hopefully we'll have baby ducks soon. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's hissing at me. She's not happy. I'm too close. And this mama duck down here in the fire pit in the dark, she's still sitting on her nest too. So when we bought this pond, it was 100% bass in this pond. That was all that was in it. And um, we put about 700 fish in this back in 2016. And it has done well, it was doing really good. And then I ended up, started this aeration system up last year, had a bunch of trouble. I left it running and I shouldn't have, I didn't start it up properly. It kicked up a bunch of stuff and it basically killed my fish. And um, I do still think there's fish still alive in here. That's why I did not stock bass into the pond right now, because I think there's still some in here. They were always overpopulated, so I'm gonna wait and see what happens, we can always put bass in here in the fall or next spring to add bass, but I did not add them right now to start out. So it's probably been about 20 minutes now, and um, it looks like we've got 
two dead catfish and one dead bluegill that are right here in this area. The rest of the fish have have swam away. So hopefully the rest of them will live. I think there's always going to be a small percentage that doesn't. It's either it's either the shock of going in the water or just the shock of the trip and everything. But uh, looks like out of the 400 and 65, hopefully we lost only three. So in hindsight, if you're doing this, I think the best thing instead of us doing the waterfall and, and we stirred up a bunch of that stuff on the bottom, we should have just took the cooler out into the water and just let them and submerged it and just let them kind of swim out of the cooler. That's what we should have done. It probably would have been a lot less shock on the fish. Um, so that's my suggestion to somebody who's, who's gonna try to do this. So I don't know if you guys got a big R store in your hometown or around where you live, but they may do this exact same thing. So it may be too late for spring, but they may do it in the fall. So it's something I guess you could keep in mind, but um, the fish pond is restocked and uh, we just gotta give it time, see what happens. So we'll monitor it through the year and uh, hopefully these all start getting bigger and we start catching them with fishing poles or with minnow traps or with something and we can actually see the fish grow throughout the year. So this Nemo bait and fishery has several different types of fish, minnows, and even koi fish that you can buy off of them. I'll put this up on the screen. You can kind of see what it costs to, to buy fish this way. Now it may be cheaper to go and buy them directly at a fishery instead of this fish truck, but there is a convenience factor, right? I've got about two hours out of my day today uh, to just be able to go pick them up and put them in the pond. So it's very convenient. Uh, but most of the fish I bought today were 65 cents a piece, except for the red ear, they were 85 cents a piece. And this totally cost, the total cost of this was like $312 before tax. I think with tax, it was like $331 to restock the pond this, this spring. So uh, hopefully that's gonna help. I I'm sure that it will. And uh, we'll keep our eye on it. If we need to add some bass, we can do that in the fall or the following spring. But I, I hate to add the predator fish now. I'd rather these fish that are lower in the food chain get a chance to, to get bigger and start to repopulate the pond before I start throwing the predators in there that's going to eat them. So um, we'll keep our eye on it and uh, we'll kind of keep you updated as it goes and see how the pond, I'm sure it's going to take a good couple years for it to really kind of come back. And uh, so I think that's going to be it for this video guys. I think the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it out a fishing pole and throw out a few casts, see if I can catch something today. Because uh, I swear, I know there's still got to be some big fish left in here. We just haven't caught them yet. So I don't think we killed everything off, right? So uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fish for a couple hours and enjoy this, this beautiful day. So that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.